hello again and this is me one more time from the channel a girl a game and a goal i am the girl today's game is athenium mystic library and my goal is to show you what's inside the box so this game is kind of hefty it's you know kind of hefty um it is a renegade game studio game it is a four player game no two to five so this is not a solo game um two to five ages 10 and older 45 minutes or so to play this is the back of the box and shows how some of the components will look of course not i don't know if they're that big but the box is kind of heavy so i saw this um box on tantrum house i think the um, I forgot if it was the girls, the ladies, the ladies, the women, or the men who had shown their top favorites for the year. And um, one of them, or two of them, or maybe there was one in each of the, the different videos who had said that this was like a top game for them. And so, since, uh, oh, and again, let's, it's got that texture where the shiny bits are a different you know they feel different than the rest of the box which is enjoyable for tactile oh i'm just messing this up so here's our box let's see what's a eh, little box on the inside um and let's see what we have here i don't want to drop anything so we have our uh game okay so at least this one this is a little catalog kind of thing Succulum, which I own, I haven't played. I haven't unboxed it yet, so if you want to see the what's in the box in this one, you know, you can let me know in the comments below. Um, Clank, which I have played and I own, and I actually 3D printed um, a, di a dinosaur, a dragon. So it was just like so cumbersome to have to deal with all those little bits. So I printed out a 3D dragon to make a like a holder. So really cute. This game, which is the other library game I have, and again, got it. I forgot who recommended this one, and um, I liked the idea of it. I think I saw it played on um, with Becca Scott, Game the Game. It might have been her, but anyway. And I bought Fox, Fox in the Forest. So I have all these, so luckily I don't get tortured and, and, and tempted by this one. So I'm actually going to chuck this. I don't need to know anything from there and the first thing on the top is the whoo this guy is heavy the, the the rule book there we go I was gonna say the cook and it says it right here so like right there it says a rule book so um, let's see how this rule book plays out there's a little blurb on the theme um, the magic exam is tomorrow and your classmates are headed to the library to study um, stack books entire subjects in an instant um you know it's just mystical and i i love that kind of stuff um components so they have the list of components and you can see everything that's contained in here which is cool and then um the setup of the game so nicely clearly listed the steps to set up and a nice clear visual which is always a good thing um you also have the book subject, so it's a clear definition of what the books are, the goal, the game sequence, step one, step two, step step uh, three and four, and then there's the end of the game. And we are not even halfway through the rule book. So that's interesting. <laughs> so it seems as if the first four first ten pages, five pages, double sided ten are the gameplay and then we have another set of pages here it says study cards which um i guess is telling us what each of the things are in the in the gameplay and how they are used which is nice it's like a glossary or an index or whatever it is of um what the different components are and how they are used which is nice uh, bonus tokens and then clarification so they even have like a, almost like an FAQ of other little things that I guess just in case people might have asked or common questions that they couldn't include in the rules because it made no sense to the rules maybe but things that came up during maybe their focus play and they just decided to add them at the end I'm not sure but here it is here's the back telling you exactly how many 
people can play. It's a standard. It's not a linen finish or anything like that. But it's nice quality. Then you have a stack of cardboard. Look at this. So I don't think I'm going to punch this on screen. Let's just take a look. And I'll show you each of them in a minute. But luckily they give you baggies, which is awesome. I probably would look at how... Um, the gameplay is set up and how I need to lay out the, the actual, um, what's the word, the tokens and this and that and the other. So maybe, I know there was something here to build, so they're probably going to fill these boxes up with stuff that's going to be built. Here's our wooden bits. The, the people, and I think these are swans because we're like mystical. Um, there, there's three sets of cards. There's an A, a B, and this guy here. I know that in the process you are choosing from here, and what you choose you give to the other person in, during the gameplay. I'm not sure if it's to the person to the next or whatnot. I'm going to open one of these just to feel the texture of the cards because they are densely packed. And just to look at a few of them. Oh, they're nice and smooth. Um, let's see. Okay, and um, yeah, so they have the different objects that you can choose from and different abilities and things like that. So you definitely um, have a B set, an A set. Maybe I should have opened this one to see if this was a C set. But anyway, um, so that's here. So I'm going to use one of these bags right now to just put the cards in so they're not bumping around inside. And that may be the case. Okay. So, let's look at these boards. Um, they're also giving you a nice bag. Beautifully, it's nice and engraved. Uh, not engraved, what is this called again? Embroidered. Embroidered, nice texture. It smells, you know, <laughs> it, smells, it smells like it's brand new, but hey, whatever, it's cool. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to pop anything out uh, intentionally. So this popped out already. So we have little cards. We have little um, purple books. And each of the purple books has a different title. Which was also something that was like, oh, that's so fun. So like, uh, Warlock meets Magical Entity. Uh, Never Trust Mortals. Um, Over the Labyrinth Wall. Yearning for a Wraith. Okay, so you also have this, which is going to... Um, it might be a player board maybe I, I, I'm not sure yeah probably because you have like the shelvings um this is to put together to make someplace for the some of the tokens I believe I'm not a hundred percent sure but I know that there were some boxes indicated another set of books and player boards so these are blue and again they also have different nowhere to hide uh, I married an elder god, so they all have their own little titles. So that was a purple, there was a green, there's a pink player, or, or pink books, and a player mat. There are black and a player mat, and there are green and a player mat. So this was supposed to play five people, right? Two to five. So that makes sense. And we have also a bunch of tokens. Now this is interesting. These are little spider tokens. I'm like, these can get so lost, and I understand that they have to be in the bookshelf, but my god, they are tiny. So, the backs of these are all candles, the fronts are all things, so I'm assuming you select these and then you build from there not knowing what you're getting, maybe? I don't know, I'm guessing. Um, and then you have a central scoring board, and I believe these are where the cards come out that you get to use in the gameplay. So... I mean, texture-wise and weight-wise, the game is really hefty. It feels nice. It feels well-made. Um, the colors are nice. They pop. They've used interesting colors. I like the purple. is very vibrant. I'm really surprised about the green and the pink, but it's really, really pretty. And I'm so um, so tickled about the, the names of the books being every one is different. It's not just like purple one, purple two, purple three. Like, they took the time to come up with these fanciful names so um that is athenium this is a two to um <laughs> they're even texting people texting me two to five i don't know if this can be played on you know with uh like the chat 
I uh, can't play by myself, so I am going to have to try to hunt down some <coughs> family to play with me. And maybe we'll do it as a video, or I will come back and give you a review or a reflection. So if you're interested in that, you can let me know. Um, again, all my other links for all my other channels and my Twitch, where I do stuff online and stream for you know live people um is out down down in the in the description um you act like this i sound like this is my first day here um so if you guys um enjoyed the video maybe you want to subscribe maybe you want to come back and say hi and you know check out my shenanigans over here on this channel but like i say i have other channels where i do crafts and i also have like a vloggy channel so um my life as a queen's remote teacher and other stuff so anyway, um, hope you guys are in have enjoyed this. Hope you guys remember to play more games and that board gaming is not a spectator sport. That we need to grab those dice and play. So until next time, I will see you. Bye.